Hello, welcome pen friends. I picked up a couple of uh, pocket notebooks a few weeks back over at our local half price bookstore. And I just, they were, they had such pretty covers and each set came with three slightly different designs on, on each notebook. And uh, I couldn't really determine by the by the little packaging what kind of paper except it said lined and blank inside and it said set of three soft cover foiled mini notebooks well this is a size I love to carry in my uh, carry around with me in my bag or pocket just to make notes like when we're going to the uh, lumber store or whatever yeah, and make sure we have our our uh, information so each little book book has 64 pages and uh, I don't know, I couldn't, couldn't really pass them up at $4.49 for the three set, especially when I saw this one, because this has those designs that I just love, the Japanese woodblock designs, and oh my goodness, we'll open that one in a minute. But what I really wanted to do was uh, find out about the paper, you know, by, I've got my currently inked pens right here. Um, I did go online and I found out that these can be purchased directly from the company, uh, Flame Tree Publishing Company, and it says that uh, for the UK, the USA, and Canada, you can get free shipping as long as you order $19.97. But the thing is, these are twice the price um, on their website. So you'd want to watch for a sale or maybe see if you can get them in your local, either half price or wherever you buy stationery where they can, you know, discount these. Um, but if, you know, if you were really crazy about a design, they were like, I think they're $8 and they're almost, they're just under $9 US for a packet of three. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll move these aside and uh, we'll get some pens over here um, and we'll just see how it does. I like to take the last page. Let's see, is that going to be a, that's interesting. It's, it's lined on one side. Let's see, what's the millimeter again of that? It said, nope, looks like I'm going to have to measure it. Let me grab my measuring stick. Okay, I'm coming up with eight millimeters. Let me see, let me get that up so where you can see it. Yeah, eight millimeter line grid. And if we're doing inches, then it's five, I was gonna say five eighths, but five sixteenths. So it's just a little bit over a quarter inch. Okay, and then, so it's alternating. One side is lined and the other is uh, blank. That's, that's interesting, but still, I don't care when it's going to be a little pocket notebook. In fact, you could make a little drawing or <laughs> that's, that's very interesting to me. Okay. Let's see. What are we going to end up writing on? Oh. Okay. Well, we can write on both sides or we could try this page and this page. It doesn't really matter. Let me just pull over my currently inked pens. Here's a Caveco Sport with a medium nib. And we'll just make a pen test page. Um, I'm going to... I'm, you know, you're finding out at the same time. I haven't tried this yet. I've been kind of nervous too because a lot of times with these little notebooks, you know, they're not fountain pen friendly, but you never know till you try. And the Log and Jotter uh, that I love so much, uh, they're not exactly, they're only certain fountain pens that get along in this, but I love these for my purse anyway. So, and you know what it is, it's having a really nice cover, really is nice for something like that. It's not necessary, but it's fun. Okay, so let's see. Pen test. It's kind of an ivory paper. Oops, I see some chicken feathering there. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that, but on the P. So, you know, who knows how this is going to turn out. But I do have some extra fine nibs there, too, so you never know. And I've also got my muggle pens, a bunch of non-fountain pen pens. The Quebeco Ice Sport, Medium, Noodlers. Navajo turquoise. Okay. Okay, I can definitely see some feathering. I don't know if you can see that. 
I don't know that we should turn it over yet. And definitely a little bit of seep through. Okay, let's just keep going though, and then we'll look at it all at the end. We'll do a couple of uh, fountain pens, and then we'll do a couple of non non fountain pens. Okay, here's one that's going to be probably putting down a lot less ink. The Midori a fountain pen has a medium nib, but it, it definitely isn't the same as that Caveco. And it has a different ink too. So this is the Midori fountain pen. Pen with a medium nib and colorverse. <laughs> uh oh, can't think of what it is. Well, it's a colorverse ink. I am not in the mood for particulars right now, I guess. <clears throat> or if I run and get it, it'll in a minute. We'll see. <laughs> okay. I'll probably think of it if I sit here long enough and stop trying so hard to remember. Okay, here's here's one that uh, this has a fine nib on it. The little, uh, whoops, these are still my June 2021 uh, inked pens. Moon Man. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Q1. Yeah, that's not quite going to work out. I can see that it's feathering already. Um, it's just uh, a little bit more absorbent of the paper. I mean, for some people, they wouldn't care, especially if it was extremely informal notes. It might not matter. But I don't like feathering, and I don't like bleed through, so it, it you know, it's just one of those little experiments. What do I have in here? Twisby. <laughs> Royal Purple, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I have in here. Oh, I guess it's time to go get the Currently Ink book. <laughs> Just a minute. Okay, I don't know what I would do without this. This is my little traveler's notebook. I just started up um, my Currently Inked number five book. I haven't even started yet, but because I knew I had just filled in my last one, um, last space here. Let's see, what am I looking for? First, I'd like to know what I have in that little Midori. Oh, yeah. Colorverse Vortex Motion is the name of that ink. Okay. That did pretty well. Let's go ahead and just put it down at the bottom. Vortex Motion. <laughs> Not very pretty, but number 17? I guess it had a number, too. And I did get that right. It looks like Moon Man Q1 did have Twisby Royal Purple. This is just a really handy little book. I, I can't seem to remember things, especially if I'm having time of stress, which I am with, with this flare-up of black back pain. I'm not in the greatest of uh, condition here. Um, but getting better every day a little bit. So this is the Twisby Go. Wanted to try it, even though it has a broad nib, because it has Scribbo ink. Whoops, we're feathering already. Okay, we might be done with fountain pens on this paper. Um, then we can just get into the business of checking out a couple of gel pens to see how that how, how that works. Um, Scribbo, uh, Verde Prado, I think. I mean, I'm not sure how to spell it. Let's see. I've got that in here, too. Uh, Prado with a D. Yeah. Okay. So it's Chicken Feather City and it's it's seeping and bleeding through. So we're going to make a line and then we'll, we're going to try some other kind of pens and whatever I can find. Pencil. How about a pencil? I got a new pencil recently. Ooh, I just love this pencil. I'm not even sure what it is because I, <laughs> I opened it and threw away the package, but it does have its thing on it. it, it uh, Tom at Ink Journal had used one and I just loved the look of the pencil so I got one for Manuel and one for me. A Yuna Curry Toga 0 0.7. Anyway, isn't that something? That is a really pretty pencil and I got it really good price with the little extra uh, lead and the extra little erasers. I should have saved the packaging to review it, but I've been a dingbat lately, so okay, so it's um Yuna Kura Toga 
0.7. I like the way the pencil feels on this. This is nice for pencil. So in, anybody who likes pencil, <laughs> nice, very nice. I don't think that's going to bleed through, but let's pull out. Um, okay, actually, I thought we were done with the fountain pens, but let's try one of my drier um, concoctions here. This is a medium nib Twisby. Let's just try this for the heck of it. Mm, not really. No, it's already feathering. Okay, forget it. <clears throat> we transition straight into muggle pens. Here is my Pilot Dr. Grip, all uh, full black. This is one of my favorite ballpoints. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is really um, good paper for ballpoint, I can tell. Uh, this is the full black. I'm thinking it's, uh, what is it? Hmm. Well, I can't even think of what it, I think it's a 0 0.7 or 8, something like that. Anyway, it's my favorite, and I do have the refills right behind me, so I should be able to find out. Okay, no, it's the one point. Never mind that. It's the one, <laughs> the one millimeter. It's nice and bold. My mother likes when I write with that pen, and that, that definitely gets along really nice with this paper. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, we've got a... It's 5 p.m. It's 5 p.m., and we have a Pig, Pigma Micron 01. I use this a lot. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> Not very straight lined here. I don't know if that went through, but I like it. No, everything's good except for <laughs> right there where I wrote Twisby. It feathered and kind of bled through. <laughs> okay, now this little bag here has got more. Let's see. It's just got more pens that are not the ones I'm trying to use up. I've got a Pentel. I've got a Jelly Roll. and I oh, Well, this one's probably going to bleed through, but we'll try it. Um, a mild liner just to we'll just see how the mild liner does but I don't know I mean you know these little notebooks are not actually for for drastic stuff anyway really it's usually just for note taking um, you know when I'm sure that I'm going to use fountain pens I always use either a little Goulet or a Lockby um, a 52 GSM or 68 GSM to my river uh, with Goulet, you can get the 52, I think. And I get the 68 from, um, usually from Lockby. Okay, so what do we want to try? Let's try this one. I'm pretty sure this Pilot Precise V5 is going to go through, but we'll, we'll find out. It might not. <clears throat> you just never know. Sometimes it really surprises me what the different pens, how they'll behave. am I looking for? Well, 5, so it's probably the finer, the 0 0.5, I guess. Okay. Nope, that's good. So I'm, I was wrong about that unless it seeps. We'll, we'll check in again. Okay, then these put down more ink. These are the uh, 07 Energel with the needle tips. I love these pens. I still love them. I don't go out of my way to get them anymore because I don't like that I can't refill them or I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Pentel. Energel. 07. Yeah, I love this. I hope these didn't go through because I've got four of these. I'm trying to use my supply up. Ooh, that's good. That's acceptable. It might you know, ghost a little and, but no, that's looking good. Oh, I'm glad. Okay, let's use a mild liner over the top of our Pig, Pigma Micron, you know, archival and just see whether this paper will take that. And then we will just use this little jelly roll just to see <clears throat> the Sakura. These are nice and it's red. Okay, so jelly roll, Sakura. 
I'm out of my element here. I'm really much more knowledgeable about fountain pens, but these are some of the other pens that I've come across or gotten and I like. <clears throat> 08. Okay. And we can just take a peek. How did things do? I'll give it a minute. Okay, so none of my like muggle type pens, non fountain pen, none of those bled through, right? That's good. Because we can't count that. That's just where I wrote Twisby right there. Let me see if I can hold it up nice. That is the word Twisby. Then we'd get just a little shadowing, but the nothing else went through. So you could pretty much, you know, just use a ballpoint or a permanent. I'm trying to think. I don't have much else just laying around. Everything else that I have is is fountain pen. So right now, so other than just another ballpoint, which is a pocket pen, but <laughs> there's no way that's going to go through. So we'll just kind of put. Actually, it's good to try it just to see of ink, you know, compatibility, and it is, because I carry one of these everywhere, especially going grocery shopping, which I hope to get back to very soon. My um, chronic pain issues are really irritating me right now, so um, I'm working really hard to get better. Okay, but let's, before I leave you, let's go ahead and open that other package. I'm kind of eager to see what they look like. These were all kind of the same. Well, not the same. They're different. They're all three different, but like these two had very few distinguishing differences. You can tell they're different, different books showing. <clears throat> Let's see the back. But and then this one was the, the standout that had the larger artwork. So and I, this was the one I think that I wanted to keep. And so that's why I did the pen test here. And I thought of sharing some of these because I think they're, they're really handy little notebooks and I just was all excited. Mom loves this size. So let me move this one so I don't accidentally keep that in the giveaway pile or something. Okay, so how did I open this other one? I don't remember. In here with my seam ripper. <laughs> Oops. I actually had to do some sewing today. Manuel needed jeans and... He, he did all the pinning though, so he actually did all the work because as I learned when I learned how to sew, <laughs> the majority of the work is before you ever touch the sewing machine. It's getting it cut and ironed and pinned properly and he, he did a really great job. He was going to hand sew it and I told him, oh, I can do it on the machine. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, goodness. The wave, of course, is very... Um, popular and they even have that on a pen um, well they have it on a koozie case and and pen roll and everything this I really like this one I automatically go toward and I like how that little embellishment there Ooh, can you see how that sparkles whoops of course you can also see the <laughs> the uh, overhead light kind of makes a glaring but it, it has sparklies well these do too these have the the gold foil kind of but, oh, these are really pretty. Let's flip them over. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I just wanted to show you these because, actually, I really thought that for three, four dollars and um, 49 cents isn't too bad. I mean, you know, we pay like five dollars for a little Tamori River one. And, of course, that's going to be completely fountain pen friendly. But even for some of the other notebooks, they're they're pricey. So I thought a three pack for that price is good when it has such a beautiful cover. They're um, not flimsy at all. To me, they're nice and um, I don't know what you'd call it. They're nice and uh, substantial covers. And then the beauty of these artwork. Oh my goodness. Uh, they're all sewn just a little different. Isn't that interesting? See how the sewing here is kind of off-center. That's too bad. It's sort of on top of it instead of right on the spine. These are good. Let's see the other one. That one has one too, That the one I kept, that's sort of sewn forward a little more. But that's just being nitpicky. These are just little pocket notebooks. I really like them. Okay, hopefully this, uh, you know, showed you something if you've never seen them or if you happen to be on the lookout if you're in your local um, 
half price bookstore then you'd know to look for them they weren't with the other stationery and envelopes and stuff they were on an end cap over near where the uh, mystery books were at my half price bookstore so i almost missed them and uh, i was just in there with the manual i wasn't really looking for a book because i've got everything i want to read right now and when i saw them i just <laughs> i ended up grabbing them and and uh well he paid for them i wasn't even thinking about purchasing anything but they're just so gorgeous okay so that's it for today and i'll be back soon because gosh there's only a couple more days left in june so i'm beginning my selection process for um for july which usually starts with my little files here i go through and i start looking at at my inks and deciding which color you know and uh, you know i'm thinking red white and blue because it's going to be um fourth of july and manuel and i are going to celebrate our 36th wedding anniversary in july and uh so i'm kind of thinking about blue and red and um different shades of blue too i'd i'd like to go with a bright and with a, a kind of a traditional maybe blue kind of a i'm thinking of that old glory blue from um birmingham if i have any left i don't know that you know something along the lines of a nice uh, flag blue anyway i'll be back with that <laughs> eventually soon i hope and uh, every day i'm working to get better so i can get back to full steam and you all can imagine how disappointing it is that i'm being you know delayed again about going to vermont but i've got to just keep the faith you know there's no reason for me to get totally discouraged because healing always happens i have never failed to heal and um you know with that with the help of of god and all of the different new ideas that i'm learning <clears throat> so i'll see you next time and take care please <laughs> bye for now